Hello, my name is Elaine Mason and I'm a Physical Activity Specialist for Torbay and South Devon NHS Foundation Trust. I am here to talk to you about the importance of physical activity for healthy ageing. Staying active throughout our life course has a huge range of benefits for both our physical and mental function and well-being. Although age alone does not determine physical condition or capacity, older age is associated with a greater risk and prevalence of many health conditions, including heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, cancer and obesity, as well as depression and dementia. Older adults are also at a greater risk of falling, often resulting in the avoidance of activity and consequent fractures and impairments. There is strong evidence that physical activity can help to reduce the risk of disease and can help manage or cope with symptoms of disease or functional limitation. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted us all in many ways. Social distancing, self-isolation and shielding have all presented challenges when it comes to staying active, particularly for older adults. As much as we need to protect ourselves from the virus, prolonged homestay may have increased how much time we spend being inactive. We might be spending more time sitting or lying down, watching television, reading, or using mobile devices. These behaviours can lead to a deterioration of chronic health conditions and cause short and long-term decline in our fitness and health. Maintaining an active lifestyle has both physical and mental health benefits. Some of the physical benefits include keeping muscles and bones strong to help with daily function and mobility. It can relieve joint pains. It helps to reduce blood pressure and cholesterol and protects your heart. It can increase your energy levels and it reduces the risk of disease and helps you to manage long-term conditions. Some of the mental health benefits might be that you sleep better, you have an improvement in your mood, a reduction in stress and anxiety levels, and it helps with social interaction and connection with others. This can result in an improved quality of life. This list is not exhaustive. You may have noticed other benefits for yourself. The FIT principle, spelt F-I-T-T, -T, is a good way to think about how much activity we are doing. F stands for frequency, or how often. It is recommended that all adults, regardless of age, participate in daily physical activity. That doesn't mean you have to be going to the gym or riding a bike every day. It might be something that you can build into your daily routine, such as walking to the shops instead of using the car, or doing some gardening. We will talk more about the types of activity later. I stands for intensity. This means the level of exertion you might feel. Moderate intensity is enough to gain the health benefits we talked about earlier. This means you are slightly out of breath, but you can still carry on a conversation. You are feeling warmer and you might notice your heart beating faster. The main thing is you can still carry on. If you are forced to slow down or stop, you might be working too hard, or as we call it, vigorously. If you are just starting to become more active, light intensity could be a good place to start. So you are within a comfortable place and it's achievable for you to carry on. Then, as you become more used to the activity itself, you might be able to gradually increase the effort to moderate intensity. For those who are used to being active at a moderate level, vigorous activity or hard work can be included if it suits you and it is safe to do so. If you have any health concerns, always discuss with your doctor before starting to become more active, or if you are looking to increase the intensity above what is usual for you. T is for time. How long is recommended for us to be active each week? Over the course of a week, it is recommended that we do at least two and a half hours of moderate intensity activity or 150 minutes. This equates to just a little over 20 minutes per day. You can choose to be more active on some days than others, with some rest days, but the more frequent we are active, the better. The second T in our FIT principle is type.
the type of physical activity you choose to do will depend on many factors. For example, your physical capabilities and what opportunities there are around you. However, the most important factor to consider when it comes to physical activity is to do something you enjoy. If you enjoy what you are doing, you are more likely to keep doing it. Activities that will raise your heart rate, get you breathing a bit deeper and feeling warmer can include walking, cycling, swimming, dancing, self-propelling a wheelchair, gardening, housework, DIY, sport, and some manual jobs. It is also important that under adults undertake muscle strengthening activities on at least two days per week. This might include gym work, yoga, or home exercises, or maybe even just carrying heavy shopping bags. Look for opportunities in your day to make it physically that little bit harder. And to reduce the chance of frailty and falls, activities to improve balance are very important. Bowls, Tai Chi and dancing are just some ways to promote balance. Or you can do some simple exercises at home whilst waiting for the kettle to boil. We are now going to hear from Andy Simpson, who is going to tell you a little bit more about how you can improve your strength and balance and what support is available for you. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name's Andy Simpson and I manage the Healthy Lifestyle Service in Torbay. I'm also a qualified postural stability exercise instructor with experience of teaching exercise classes to older adults at risk of falling. I'm going to talk to you today about how the local strength and balance exercise programme can help you to keep active and reduce your risk of falls. The strength and balance class, often referred to as the PSI class, is an instructor-led exercise class that has been proven to improve your strength and your balance and reduce the likelihood of you having a fall. The class is multi-component. That means it has different sections that work on different aspects of your fitness. The programme runs for 12 weeks and at the end of the programme, the instructor will let you know about local exercise classes, continuation classes that you can attend to maintain the progress that you've made. The programme has a great evidence base. That means it's been proven to reduce falls in people who take part. So what I'm going to do now is just tell you what to expect from the exercise class. So firstly, there is a warm up just to ensure that everybody even those with health problems can safely take part in the exercises. The warm up is then followed by some gentle cardiovascular exercises. They're ones that get you a little bit out of breath at a light to moderate intensity. This will help to improve your general fitness. We then move on to balance exercises in standing. This is vital to reduce your risk of falling. What we do in this section are exercises that challenge your balance, but in a safe and controlled way. Following the balance section, you will do some strengthening exercises with resistance bands. As Elaine mentioned earlier, strength exercise is really important for activities of daily living, such as getting out of a chair or climbing the stairs. When combined with the balance exercises, this will really help to reduce your risk. After the strength component, we teach you how to safely get up and down to and from the floor. This part of the programme really builds confidence in maintaining your independence and your ability to do things around the home. Finally, we finish with a cool down and some Tai Chi type exercises. Tai Chi is a great way of relaxing the mind and breathing. And it is also excellent for your balance. It's a great way to end the session. I hope that's given you a good overview of the strength and balance exercise programme. If you would like to find out more about the programme and how you could take part in the exercise classes, call the Healthy Lifestyles team. Our telephone number is 0300 456 1006. We run classes in various locations in Torbay and South Devon, including Torquay, Paynton, Brixham, Newton Abbott, Timmouth, Totnes, Bobby Tracy and Dawlish. We look forward to seeing you at one of our classes soon. Thanks for watching.